I think Argentina is very special. It has an incredible culture, uh, whether you are um, interested in the trees, the plants, uh, the food, the wine, and of course the tango. All of these things together, they marry to make an amazing experience. Well, this is my first time coming to Argentina. I was very curious about uh, this country. I, I've never been this far south in South America, and I uh, was very eager to, to visit here and learn about not just the birds, but the people too. I, I... Buenos Aires, I was incredibly impressed with Costa de Sur where we had um, our very first introduction to Argentine bird watching. I don't think there are any big cities in the world where you can have this uh, super uh, bird watching experience in the heart of the city. Yes, the... You know, th there are a lot of countries where you can go visit and um, you could be anywhere. You could be in the United States, you could be in England, you could be uh, you know, in Costa Rica, something like that. It's, it's very similar, the places where you go. What's um, always uh, very fascinating to me and uh, very enjoyable to me is to be um, somewhere where the culture is, is largely intact, where there is a, a separate and distinct culture of people. Um, and that's definitely the case here in Argentina. The only thing is we're having so much fun that we're packing a ton into every day and so we're, our energy is starting to flag just a bit. So we've just had a little siesta and I'm feeling tip top now for the rest of the trip. Ibira particularly, uh, as we've discovered over these last four days, is one of the most amazing sites anywhere in the world. It's, it's like uh, Botswana, it's like the Okavango uh, Delta where you can go slowly through the uh, waters to watch the wetland birds and because it's done sensitively, you can see the birds so closely. Um, and so far, uh, I guess we've been here about five days, it's been incredible. We've had great weather, uh, wonderful um, itinerary where we've hit a bunch of different habitats and looking forward to hitting a bunch more. We've racked up a bird list that's fast approaching 200 species. It has been a very a pristine landscape with uh, untouched nature, uh, with um, a huge diversity in species. And I think what we uh, are discovering, particularly many of us on this trip, are very keen photographers, that again, Argentina offers a very good opportunity to not just watch the birds, which of course we do with amazing binoculars, but we use cameras, and nowadays the technology is changing so much that you don't often have to get so close to a bird. You can use uh, what we call digiscoping, which is an amazing adaptation to our telescopes. Um, but um, I'm really impressed by the, the range of, of birds and mammals that we've been able to see, you know, and, and we're, we're still only sort of four days into it. We've seen things like the strange-tailed tyrant, which is an extremely, extremely rare bird and one that I know would be on the, high on the list of people coming to see these birds uh, when they come to Argentina. The wonderful seed eaters, the whole range of them, of course the marsh seed eater was a, a very special bird. Uh, not only is it very pretty, but it's difficult to see, and a, a real fantastic bird for uh, the photographers. Um, including some real highlights like Rhea and uh, strange-tailed tyrant and ochre-bellied pipit. You know, birds that are really, really hard to find anywhere in the world and um, in, in some cases uh, critically endangered. Yeah, for me, perhaps I've got two, uh, two, two species that I really, really wanted to see before I came here. One was the, the common putu uh, that we saw uh, uh, two days ago. Uh, and the other one was the tuku tukan that we had also uh, for two days ago. So. And the other bird which we've seen on two occasions, so you know, they're, they're closely um, associated with um, good quality natural grass and is the okra breasted, uh, is the okra breasted pipit. So we've gotten to visit uh, mostly around the Ibarra region so mm. far, um, hitting several different habitats and, and national parks. Mm. Um, and uh, it's just been incredible. It's, it's been uh, really wonderful. One of the first stories I will tell, particularly to my young family, is I'll tell them about the place we visited, which was full of vampire bats. Because um, children think vampire bats are incredibly exciting. And then a couple of days later, we saw a very dangerous poisonous snake, a pit viper. And then a few hours later, we had a tarantula wandering around in the lounge 
And all those things are well worth telling the world because they sound exotic, they sound exciting. Of course, we were never under in any danger. But they're the sort of stories you can take back and they'll, a few years down the line, I'll be telling the same stories around the dinner table, perhaps embroidered and made to sound slightly more dangerous than they actually were. Yes, we're looking forward to be that. Actually, all had a practice session of how to wrestle a caiman. And um, what you do first is you have to put your arms around its, around its snout. And after oh. that, it, it doesn't stand a chance. A bit more worried about the anacondas. For me, I think uh, the whole aspect of the, all the culture, uh, the, the people that has been um, very generous and, and, uh, and interesting to me. Uh, and not, for example, the, the, this mate, uh, the, the, the thing that, that you uh, drink all the time. It has been fantastic to, to learn about that. Uh, so, so I've never heard of that before. So, so it was a big surprise, but very interesting in, in, uh, in many ways. Everyone here, without exception, has been uh, wonderfully welcoming and friendly. And I can tell that Argentinians are incredibly proud of their, uh, of their country. And that, that's something that counts a lot when you're choosing a destination to travel to for bird watching. And um, you know, you, you spend a lot of money when you travel a long way to, to go bird watching. Um, you want it to be worth it, and I would have to say that um, any, any traveler coming to Argentina, especially someone looking for birds and a little bit more, um, will be pleasantly surprised and even enchanted um, uh, by what they'll find here in this country. This is Argentina by Dominic. Uh, this is Argentina by Nicola. This is Argentina by Matt. This is Argentina by Bill Thompson. And so this is Argentina by Tim Appleton, MBE.